enormously grateful for the fact that he has pledged $1 million to the Thinking the World of Our Future campaign to establish the Wilson Centre for Entrepreneurial Excellence in the College of Commerce. This wonderful gift supports the vision of the University of Saskatchewan by developing an internationally recognized center of excellence, creating an interdisciplinary program that encourages collaboration across the institution and doing this in the context of entrepreneurship. I never really intended to make a gift to the University of Saskatchewan's Wilson Center as we came to know it. I had agreed that I'd make a million dollar donation to the university, but I needed appropriate, suitable recognition. Doug Clark brought a young guy who was the new dean of the business school into my office. And his name was Grant Isaac. Grant came in and we spoke for about an hour and uh, talked a little bit about entrepreneurship. Grant said, I have an idea for you in terms of what you might associate with. And it was about the Wilson Center for Entrepreneurial Excellence. Now that wasn't the original name we played with many, but it was really Grant's initiative to say we could use a place at the university as a resource for the entire university based out of the business school, which was great, uh, but that would respect the entrepreneurial spirit of our entire province and therefore step up, if you will. So I did. He wanted something different than what the university was doing. And so he made it very clear from the beginning that this is what he wanted. He wanted to teach entrepreneurship and he wanted to teach marketing, and he wanted to teach the, anyone who goes into that route to pay back to the university. At the very beginning, when it started in 2007, uh, I was tasked with developing the very first business plan for the center. We decided to make it a campus-wide center, not just a center for, for the business school. So it applied to all students on campus. One of the main objectives of the center was to make entrepreneurship available to every single student on this campus. I happen to think that core curriculum should include the study of entrepreneurship, the study of marketing, and the study of philanthropy from a strategic perspective. Core is important because it's the college and the university now saying that's important. Whereas if it's an elective, it's different, right? When it's core, that's important. That means every student takes it. And so the university has, has agreed that uh, entrepreneurship is very important. We're moving from four sections and about 120 students a year to 400 students to, uh, who will be building business plans each and every year. And uh, that's going to create lots of opportunities for new startups in our ecosystem here in Saskatoon, across Canada for that matter. In addition to the, uh, the increase in the number of classes that we're teaching in entrepreneurship, we're starting an initiative here. This has three prongs to it. One is to uh, find better ways to support entrepreneurship development and the entrepreneurship classes here within Edwards. The second part is to create more of these collisions across campus and to foster the spirit across all of the University of Saskatchewan. The third part is to embed us even more deeply into the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in Saskatoon and in Saskatchewan and in Canada for that matter. My intention in making the gift was to give, and at a quarter of a million dollars a year, it was enough to provide for the resource of a staff member and then some programming to wrap around. And the most important thing from my perspective was to create a sense of entrepreneurial spirit that we could foster on the campus. So it wasn't meant to be just for the business students, but rather a place where we could create collisions and that's really what started to happen as the Wilson Center created some on-campus, off-campus, but on-campus programming relative to bringing people together. We never knew each other before. It was a total serendipitous meeting. Um, and it, it really is the true collision that I think the center was hoping to occur. Uh, they wanted business student runs into engineer, and it could have happened in a more genuine sort of serendipitous way where we actually met and shook hands and joined, joined forces. When I first heard of the Wilson Center, there was something called the Idea Challenge, or the I3 Challenge, and I wanted to uh, be a part of it. I just didn't have a business idea. I was part of the um, entrepreneurship option through engineering, 
So I was kind of involved in a lot of that stuff, and uh, the Wilson Center opened up, and so I actually uh, volunteered to run a booth there. I met this commerce uh, kid <laughs> randomly over in engineering. They don't uh, wander over there too often, so uh, we kind of uh, talked a bit. I did what a commerce could do. I gave him my business card, and I said, call me. And it took him a little while to warm up to the idea of having a, a business guy on his side, but uh, eventually he called me and we met up and he shared his idea, which was what gave birth to 320 Modular. Brian McRae, the uh, 320 Modular, what they're called now, I had actually reached out to him the second year after he had won. I emailed him on Facebook. I was like, hey man, I'm really, I'm trying to apply for this, the same competition. Do you have any advice? And that guy right away was so inviting to me. And he said, you know, Kendall, come to my office. I'll help as much as I can within an hour. I had no idea how to pitch a business. I was just terrified of public speaking back then. Within a two week span, we had won the Aboriginal Youth Idea Challenge, which was hosted by Enactus. And then we, we won uh, third at the I3 Idea Challenge, which we won $10,000, which was huge. Just that experience alone was, was like the icebreaker for my future success. The pitch party has evolved over time as we tested and tried different things. And it's ultimately evolved to an opportunity for me to talk a little bit about my thoughts on whether it's critical thinking or the spirit of entrepreneurship or the connection of philanthropy uh, strategically done to entrepreneurship. But now we always have a little bit of pitch, so we allow people to come to the stage and, and make their pitch. But the other thing is it's one of the largest gatherings in Saskatchewan of entrepreneurial-minded people. The pitch party experience was lots of things. It was terrifying, it was challenging, it was rewarding. It, I probably will never be on the Dragon's Den, but it was the closest thing that I thought I could put myself out there. Um, the pitch party attracts really key people from the community, key people from the university. It gives students from the university a chance to kind of get a, a snapshot of what, you know, their future professional lives could be like. And so, it really is the perfect storm for someone like me who is trying to maybe position a business or grow a brand. It was really gratifying to put myself up in front of a thousand plus people, a lot of them who I would consider amazing mentors in the business community, to hear me out. One of the most powerful things that the pitch party did as it evolved was connect the students to the business world. And it wasn't just the business world, it was real people doing real things. Because remember, not every business graduate goes on to run a business. And certainly not every business is run by a business graduate. So it was connecting that broad circle of people who had a spirit of entrepreneurship, or if you will, coursing in through their, the green-blooded veins of Saskatchewan. And for me, it was just creating those connections again. The Wilson Centre has helped us position ourselves as, I believe, one of the emerging new leaders in entrepreneurship in all of Canada. Students now are thinking more about being entrepreneurs, the students are thinking about different things they can do as entrepreneurs, including the philanthropy approach. Uh, students will uh, be in, in greater and greater numbers uh, contributing more and more to our, to our um, economy here as entrepreneurs into the future, largely because of what the Wilson Centre has helped them learn and helped them do and helped them be engaged with. The Wilson Center's $30,000 investment in our business has spun off into tens of millions of dollars in revenue, 20 plus employees, hundreds of thousands of square feet built in province, tens of millions of purchases to other businesses for materials. So there's a lot of positive economic uh, things that have happened with the Wilson Center. He made a major gift to this university for the W. Brett Wilson Center for Entrepreneurial Excellence not just for the Edwards School, for all students at the university in all disciplines, to plant the entrepreneurial seed, and he attends pitch parties and gives his time very generously to support the Wilson Centre, knowing that the seeds planted here with our students will someday take hold and foster new enterprises. His contribution to the university, to the community, to the world is one of the excellent best ones. And I'm very proud and happy to say he's my friend. For me, the Wilson Center will be a, 
a legacy success to the extent that the university provides core programming inside the business school and available for those outside the business school. The entrepreneurial thought, the philanthropy, marketing, when those become core curriculum, and they are now in the business school, and as long as that's offered, I hope next to the engineering students as core curriculum, then my goal of creating a center where seeds are properly planted will be met.